Hi there. Welcome to the Mathematics Program Talk. My name is Victor Tan, and today I'm going to share with you two things. Why you should study mathematics in the university, and what are the mathematics program offered by NUS. So first of all, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should study mathematics. Number one, finding good jobs. Doing the maths to find a good job. This is the title of an article from the Wall Street Journal. It is based on the report made by a job career website based in US called careercast.com. This website, they actually survey, evaluate, and rank 200 professions from the best job to the worst job based on the criteria, income, employment outlook, fiscal demand, stress, and environment. Let me show you the top 10 best job in the past few years that is done by this career class survey. As you can see, over the years, the top 10 list does not really change a lot, except the ranking. But one thing in common, as you can see, is that there are more than half of the occupation that are mathematics related. Other than mathematician, you also have data scientists, you have statistician, operations research analysts, information security analysts, and software engineering, and so on and so forth. Now, as the world becomes more data-driven and more digital, this doesn't come as a surprise. Although the survey is done in the United States, our prospective students can use this as a reference when they come to making a choice for their studies. Reason number two, there's a wide range of career choices. Now, there's a common misconception that a degree in mathematics can only lead to a teaching career. Well, there's nothing wrong of becoming a math teacher. However, what I want to point out to you is that a degree in mathematics can actually land you in many different possible careers. Take a look at this slide. This is a list of common occupations for our mass graduates. As you can see, there is a wide range of industry and sectors that are hiring students who are good in mathematics. And here are some of the examples of the big companies that are hiring mass graduates, such as Singapore Airlines, DBS, Grabs, Facebook, and many other government and private sectors. Reason number three why you should study mathematics, because there are multiple pathways. When a student graduates from a mathematics basic degree, other than continuing to pursue a career in mathematics, in fact, it is very easy for them to switch to other area in physical science, life science, finance, technology, and engineering. Mathematics build a strong foundation for our graduates to be able to convert to any other areas of STEM discipline. On the other hand, for people who are trained in some other science and engineering discipline, it is actually much harder for them to switch back to mathematics. There are many lecturers and professors in NUS across different faculties and schools that actually have their first basic degree in mathematics. Let me give you some example. In business schools, we have finance professors and operations professors who have the first degree in mathematics. In School of Computing, we have some computer science professors. In FASS, Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences, we have economics professors. And in Faculty of Engineering, there are several departments that have engineering professors that have a basic degree in mathematics. Closer to home, in the Faculty of Science, there are physics professors as well as statistics professors. On the other hand, in the Department of Mathematics, we do not have many professors that their first degree is not trained in mathematics. Reason number four why we should study mathematics? Well, because there are a lot of real-world applications. Look at this pyramid. You see many examples of real-world problems today that make intensive use of mathematics. Let me give you a glimpse of what are the mathematics underlying all these applications. 
You see number theory, cryptology, computer graphics, integral geometry, waveless, and so on and so forth. Now, this you may not be familiar for now, but if you come to NUS and you study mathematics, you will encounter all these topics. Let me give you an example of the search engine. We use Google every day to search for information. For example, if we type in the words mathematics books, Google will generate a long list of websites that are relevant to our search. Now, the ranking and order of this website are not random. Instead, they are ranked according to Google Page Rank. The mathematics behind Google Page Rank is linear algebra. Google takes all this website and form a huge matrix called the link matrix. And from this link matrix, we can calculate the so-called principal eigenvector, which eventually will give us the Google page rank. Now, all this concept of matrix eigenvectors is what you are going to learn in the first linear algebra course in the university. Last but not least, studying mathematics also equip our students with the ability to acquire new knowledge, which is important for lifelong learning. In fact, our students not only acquire the concepts and topics that they learn in the classroom, but intangibly, they also pick up a lot of life skills. For example, problem-solving skills, analytical thinking skills, quantitative reasonings, perseverance, and being rigorous and systematic. Now, I think I've given you enough reason why you should study mathematics in a university. In the second part of my talk, I'm going to share with you what are some of the mathematics programs offered by NUS. Now, there is a whole list of programs and combinations that prospective students can choose from when they come to NUS. So it can be quite overwhelming. But let me simplify things for you. Basically, in the Department of Mathematics, we offer four basic degrees, namely Mathematics, Applied Mathematics, Quantitative Finance, and Data Science and Analytics. In short, I'm going to refer to them as MA, AM, QF, and DSA respectively. Let me again give you a glimpse of what are some of the mathematics module offered in our department. There are basically two big categories. The essential modules are the modules that students have to take in order to fulfill their graduation requirement. And usually they will take them in their first year and the second year. Then when they come to the third year and fourth year, there will be a whole basket of elective modules. What you see here is only a small sample of the long list of elective modules that we offer. And these are some of the applied mathematics module. There are, of course, also some of the more traditional modules like geometry, number theory, graph theory, topology, and so on for the math students to choose from. One commonly asked question is, what is the difference between mathematics and applied mathematics? Well, other than the module requirement, basically, mathematics program emphasize on foundations in mathematics and the development of theories. And the focus is more on the proving techniques. On the other hand, applied mathematics focus more on the applications of mathematics, as well as the development of algorithm. The emphasis is more on problem-solving techniques. So for students who are interested in our MA or AM program, when you apply for the university admission, you should select NUS and science as your course of choice. Now, once you are being accepted to science, you can then declare mathematics or applied mathematics as your major at the beginning of the school year. Quantitative finance program is a discipline that is meant for students who are good in mathematics and they plan to go into the finance industry. This is a very structured and multidisciplinary 
uh, area. Students, other than taking mathematics and statistics modules, they also are expected to take finance modules from the business school, as well as programming modules from the School of Computing. So for students who are interested in our QF program, when you are applying for the university admission, Again, you have to select NUS Science as your course of choice. But do take note, once you are being accepted into science, you also have to separately apply for our QF program. For more details, please scan the QR code and uh, look out for the deadline for this application. DSA program is uh, four-year direct honours program that is offered by the Department of Mathematics jointly with the Department of Statistics and Applied Probability. As there will be a separate program talks on DSA, I shall not go into the details here. But for students who are interested in the DSA program, this is how you apply. You have to select NUS Data Science and Analytics instead of Science as your course of choice. And when you are being accepted, you are directly admitted to this DSA program. Now, let me also talk about double degree program and double major program. Double degree program, students will get two degrees at the end of their studies. Under the direct admission schemes, mathematics department and school of computing offer a double degree in computer science and maths or applied mathematics. This is targeting the good students with good A-level or equivalence results. On the other hand, students taking double major program will receive one degree from their home faculty. Uh, it is less intensive than the double degree program. So for students who are interested in double major program, uh, they can take mathematics as their first major and then together combine with the second major in the following discipline namely economics from FASS, management from business school, business analytics, computer science, or information security from the School of Computing. Students who are interested in DDP and DMP, they can apply as follow. Select NUS Science as one of your course of choice. In addition, you have to select DDP and DMP together with your choice combination. And once you are accepted, you will be directly admitted to this double degree or double major program. Now, I have to say that other than the above combination, when students uh, is being admitted to NUS, they can also tailor-made many other different combinations to complete a double degree or double major program. I would also like to introduce a special program in mathematics. This is a uh, value-added education provided by the mathematics department. It is aimed at training students who are good in mathematics and plan to go for further studies after they graduated from their basic degree. How do students apply to the special program in mathematics? Well, it is not through the university admission exercise. Rather, we will base on the students' result when they come to NUS and all the essential modules they have taken in the semester one. In this short video, it is not possible for me to cover all aspects of the programs in details. So I would like you to visit our website at this uh, URL. To help you navigate, you can go to Undergraduates tab, and in the drop-down, you'll see a lot of useful information that's relevant to our prospective students. In particular, under the major minor program, you will be able to see a whole list of uh, different combinations of programs that I mentioned above and many other options. To students who have the passion and who are good in mathematics, I hope that you will seriously consider one of our mathematics programs. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in NUS.